going out to what we're calling the uh, outdoor research facility. About an hour north of Tampa is a plain field surrounded by a fence. We'll just walk in from here. Inside, what you'd expect to see growing. But there's also a lot in here that you might not expect. Behind me, in all this grass area, up, up in this area, we have remains out on the surface. The bodies out here have all been donated in the name of science. The idea? Learn how bodies break down, both under the sun and under the ground. He left, actually, on my birthday. Abigail Kennedy's husband was a high school principal and is one of the people buried out here. He ac accidentally ran into the back of a logging truck. For her, this place brings comfort. Is there any part of you that, that is bothered by this at all, bothered by where he is? For me, no, but I have been given such comfort in how everything happened. She feels out here he's continuing to be an educator with others. In situations like that, yes, you might lose some information. Even if it is in an unorthodox classroom. We're not going to show this body right here mm. because it might be disturbing to some people, but tell us kind of what is over there. Well, what you're looking at is an individual who's already gone through all the stages of decomposition where the tissues um, blow and, and then recede and they change color. Erin Kimmerly and her team at the University of South Florida have found just how fast temperature and humidity speed up decomposition. What takes years in an arid, dry climate like Colorado, for example, can take just weeks here in Florida. And they've learned a valuable lesson about scavengers, how drastically they move bodies. And that's something that could be key to a criminal investigation. The vultures will completely turn the body 180 degrees, um, separate the arms and legs. It might look like somebody was dumped there in a haphazard way or, or maybe staged even. And she discovered that a heavy bird sitting on a rib cage can break bones, even collapse a chest cavity. The number of injuries can speak to how heinous and atrocious the crime is considered, which will determine whether or not it becomes a death penalty case. Aaron's team recently solved a murder case. By using what they learned about how bodies decompose, they created this facial reconstruction image, and someone recognized it as Jane Weaver. Her boyfriend had shot her and dumped her body. Our lab has done over 350 cases for law enforcement and medical examiners. The team has also made incredible strides in science with bones that continue to be studied even after they leave the field. Aaron's team has figured out a way to tell where in the country a person lived most of their life before they died. The elements that end up in your food and water remain in your teeth and bone structures. So those structures develop in your body at different times. And as they develop um, and are retained there, it gives us like a timeline of someone's life. This body farm is one of seven around the country, each studying different climates, helping those who have lost a loved one and those seeking justice to eventually find closure. We have this strong belief that uh, every for every missing person, there's a family missing them. You need to brush your hair tonight. For Abigail, it's comforting for her to know that there is more than her husband's memory that's living on. Jace Larson, The Now.